Hello everyone, this is Chang'un Dragman. Welcome back to Let's Play Alien Isolation. Here's what you missed in between this part and the last part. My computer completely fucked out on me, and I thought that for that entire last part, I didn't have any audio. Because for some reason, it wasn't recording audio anymore when I tried to start up again, so... But we have audio, and we're good. And this game's finished installing, so... It's better goddamn work. Thank you! And the screen's going to... Oh, wow. I didn't realize I was going to activate a cutscene. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol I Station. I didn't get to show it, but on the right... There was the room... With all the, um... The room with all the blinking lights that they used to contact the computer from the first movie. I can't bring the Torrens into that. I thought that was cool. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a Wayland Yutani bond. Your God damn it, Wayland Yutani. Quarter unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> <laughs> what am I waiting for? Ha 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 so our fitted Samuel suit with These guys don't look like astronauts. These guys look like space marines from Warhammer 40,000. What is with those shoulder pads? Safe trip. Okay, it's cool and all that they have the detail to show when characters are physically sweating. And you can see the reflection of the sweat, and that's cool and all. But why is every character sweating? I like, is it hot? Is it really hot indoors or something? Yeah, at this point, I just kind of think it's showing off. Depressurizing. Fuck. Hating this. Just show me, Taylor. Oh, okay, that's... Affirmative. That's there. Yeah, thanks. The crew expendable is, um... The thing where you can play as... Something Ripley began with an E. What was it? God damn it. You can play as Ripley... Parker, or no, oh, Jesus, whoa, Just keep or um, Dallas from the movie. Ripley, hold on. I'm sorry, I thought I was playing Alien Isolation, not Gravity, the video game. So they just disappeared then. They don't even have comms. I get that they're like flying away somewhere, but like they You can't even see them anywhere, they just disappeared. Are they hiding behind that that thing? Whatever's floating in the background? They didn't just fly off, they disappeared. What the hell? And now I'm all alone with what's probably the xenomorph. Great! Things are getting interesting. Floor vents can be. Wait, was that about floor vents? Noises above and below you are indicated. Oh, fuck. Jeez, what did I get myself into? Oh, and I found out how to peek, by the way. You have to hold down the left bumper and then. Yeah, they connect. So I'll just, um. I'll just move a bit so I can actually be in front of the connect sensor. Hopefully, I can see my head. Wait, what was that? Ripley is not a violent person. I'm assuming the rest of that sentence was, but if things get hectic, she can fuck some shit up. I hope that's what the rest of that sentence was. Otherwise, we're gonna be in some trouble. What was her name though? Was it Emma Ripley? Elisa Ripley? That is going to gnaw at me for the fucking rest of this episode. It was... it was... It began with an E. 
It's this chick's mother, pretty much. You can play as her if you're expendable thing. And the first couple of times I read that, I thought it said expandable. But no, it says expendable. As in, all these crew members are expendable. Nice throwback to the movie. Wait, so what am I doing? I'm just getting in a different suit? Is that... Wait, so, hold on, so what am I wearing now? I guess my regular space... I like the golden spacesuit. Like, no, they have normal spacesuits, but we've got the golden shit, because we are some beast mofos up in this bitch. We got style. We are rolling in the dough. These registration... Oh, right, uh, registration points. Would that be this thing? They will warn you if enemies... I don't like that. To manually save your progress, they will warn you if enemies are nearby. So they can have enemies practically right next to the save points. Now you could be trying to save and still get butt raped by a xenomorph. I do not like that. That does not fill me with confidence. Fuck. Oh right, and the peaking thing. So hold down left bumper and can do it with the stick, which is much faster and much easier. But this is me doing it with the head motion. So I might sound a bit different, waving my head back and forth as I move back. And forth on the microphone. I can even look forward. And look back. And forward. And back. I don't know if you can... Wait, can you do that? Oh yeah, you can do that with that analog stick. Alright. Okay. I forgot I still had noise detection on so they can hear everything I'm saying. Guys, we're gonna have to be very, very quiet. Oh. Oh, what? This is the B button. What's this doing? I'm scanning. Y, X, A. They do nothing. Left bumper, right bumper, left trigger, right trigger. Okay, so right stick is crouch. Oh, okay. Left stick is run, as always. Also, I noticed that in um, the movie, they had flamethrowers on a spaceship. You realize fire needs oxygen to burn, right? Flamethrowers seem like the last kind of weapon you would have on a spaceship with a limited air supply. Fuck it. This is all kinds of dangerous. What's up there? It could be right above me. I don't even know. Oh, um, that's a wall. Doesn't go in this way. Did I miss something back here or do I have to go this way? Also, there's something that always bugged me about these in the movie. Did Oh no, they do close all the way. Oh. For some reason I didn't think they closed all the way. I don't know why. This isn't the Nostramus, is it? This is, um... These are the people that found the uh, black box. Let's see what kind of porn they've been downloading. <laughs> Folder corrupted. That's what- okay. Lesson learned. That's what happens when you download too much porn. It will corrupt your hard drive. Decommissioning. Okay. To engineering team. Re-decommissioned. So boys and girls, you've probably heard the whispers about Sevastopol by now and I can confirm it's official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. I will go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and next placement. But for now, we still have a job to do. The suits want this done with a skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help, but it does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for and I will be personally, uh, oh, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to Marshal Walt. Wait. What am I waiting for? Still sincerely, Chief Douchebag. Who refers to himself as Chief anymore? Oh, and that fault is corrupted too. Great. So, oh, oh. Oh. God damn it, I hate you. Oh, am I still falling? 
Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a bit of a good long while since we've had um any. That uh, should be button again. I was hoping that might give me some sort of flashlight, but nope, still can't see it in the dark. It's been a good long while since we've had any actual horror titles made by AAA companies. I mean, some would argue things like um, Silent Hill, Resident Evil, or Dead Space. Let me tell you, I've played Dead Space. And I've played Dead... Sorry. <laughs> I've, play I've played Dead Space. And I've played Resident Evil. They are not horror games. They are action games with zombies and shit. I haven't played Silent Hill, but I can't imagine that that one example that I haven't tried would be all too different. You always know working. Some, some, wait, someone knew you always know working Joe. You always know working Joe. He's that guy with the spanner and the wrench. Good morning. Or oh, was that iced morning? Is that is that what that is that an I? Iced morning. K keep what is that a K? Fuck I don't know something morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I just realised I actually lost health from when I fell down. Wow. Realistic. Hmm. Cool. Oh, I turned it off. You mean I can't listen to my sweet jams? Oh man, that's a downer. What's this? Oh, scrap! I have ten scraps now. I'm rolling in it. Hello? Anyone here? Bitch, I'm louder than you. If you want, if you want to get people's attention, you don't whisper. You go, hello, anybody here? Mind if I fuck some shit up because I'm bored? And that says nothing on that computer screen. What is this? Is this a model of the ship? Inside the ship? The architects just could not get enough of themselves. Wow. What was I talking about before? Before I saw that working Joe thing? You always know working Joe. Is he to Oh. Oh wait, no. Oh, these ter these are different terminals. So this updates my map. Didn't realize I had a map. Oh, okay. Mash the button. I guess you do it. Multiple. So it turns the charm. Oh, it's a generator. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Time to read some more um emails. Totally not looking at porn. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right out of the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. Don't worry, no one goes down to a terminal anymore. Not after what happened. Bitch get nailed. Also, we're out of meds and low in water, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe I'll teach you to take care of our stuff in the future. Anna. I can't do a girl voice, so, um... So the code is 03... Uh, 0340. I should write that down somewhere, but I'm not gonna. You guys remind me. And that's, um... The terminal. I have to write it. Okay. What? Okay, so one of the storerooms, wherever that is. Goodbye from Simpson. Public notice and decommissioning of the last one of We've had a long journey together, but sadly, it's coming to an end. Siegson Corp would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who worked and lived at Sevastopol over the years, and hopes that Siegson has helped to make it a productive and rewarding environment. Our investment and belief in the station has never wavered. Be assured that Siegson's Apollo Central AI and Working Joe, Working Joe, he's the guy with the spanner and the wrench, androids will be there to serve Sevastopol until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, Sevastopol isn't just a station, it's people. Soylent Green, the biscuits, they're people. 
officially Seeks and Corp. Audio! No, it's not audio, it's the... Oh, it, did, it is audio. Do they all have audio? No, they did not. This one? Nope. That one has audio. Utility power to restore power to departures. Oh, that wasn't an email. That was an option. Okay. <laughs> Hello, you handsome devil. Am I? Oh shit! There's people down now. Am I looking at a mirror? I think so. <laughs> you sexy devil. Alright, so there's people down there. But I guess I'm going this way. Because fuck people. Seekson is people. Oh, down. I oh, know it wasn't Seekson, it was um. Sevastopol is people. Shit, I'm running over time. Also, I think working here are the robots. Like the androids, like. Ash! Dun 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 for the first movie, Ash catch him as a robot. So perhaps more robots and electrical hazards, which is just Seriously, someone needs to hire a janitor. So yeah, we'll get to more of that in the next part. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Dos for Dania.